Having trouble reaction rolling certain attacks in Dark Souls 3 PvP? In this video, you can train yourself to reaction roll a few common light attacks by pausing the video at the right time as if you were attempting to roll in game with the spacebar or on your controller, the dodge button. As the screen says prepare yourself, prepare to react to the attack starting and then time your roll accordingly. Once you pause, press the right arrow key on your keyboard to skip 5 seconds. If the screen says you guess rolled, you rolled before the attack even started. If the screen says you didn't roll fast enough in red text, you didn't react fast enough and you got hit. If the screen says you got roll caught in dark red text, you rolled too quickly and got roll caught. This also is assuming you are using only one roll. If the screen says you dodge the attack in green text, you dodge at a point where every frame that the enemy's hitbox is active, your iframes would also be active. You can then play or scrub through the video to get to the next trial. Keep in mind that rolls in Dark Souls are not instant as they are on release, and can take 1-3 to three frames in 60fps to register after the release from my testing. This is also assuming you press and release as fast as you can. Thus, I will be treating your spacebar the same way and delaying it 2 frames. We'll do weapons in the order that they appear in DS Animation Studio, and we'll probably only do a few for now. Since we'll be starting off with the dagger, don't sweat not being able to roll it. It's barely humanly possible in-game to my knowledge. If you can, also keep in mind that this is with expecting the attack and no other animation blender. So no walking, blocking, running, etc. Those things may obscure the attack in its first few frames, so it may be much harder in game than it appears here. If you want to then simulate these things that can worsen your ability to react and roll these attacks, try putting your thumb somewhere else on your keyboard, like the T key. Then on reaction to the swing, move down to the spacebar and press. Lastly, if you want, you can just let the video play to get an idea of how much time you actually have to reaction roll things with a single roll. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video, and maybe sometime I'll make a longer and better version of this, and then maybe even one for parries.